Oh man, the, the golden strawberries are so, so tiring. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad that this is just optional content. You don't have to get any golden strawberry to finish the story because, dear God. <laughs> I'm gonna read what you said, Kit, in a bit. No! Oh my god, I had it! No! Oh, never mind, we don't put the fun in funeral. Trills in the Sky has been so good so far. Characters, music, story, world building. It's, all, it's been all the peakest of peaks. I love it. I said once, in the very first Heaven's Word stream, I said that no game so far has ever been able to make me cry. Not even games like Nier Automata or Nier Replicant or Kingdom Hearts, 14 Sentinels, uh, Yakuza, all that soul crushing stuff. Not single one, but Final Fantasy XIV is a good candidate for that, and Trails in the Sky. They're both very good candidates for being the very first games to finally be able to make me cry. And I'm very much looking forward to that, I really want to. I know that sounds unhinged, I know that sounds really weird, but I really want to, I really want to. <laughs> I really want that to happen. Bam, bam, bam. I know it sounds weird, I know kids, I know. I, I get I know it sounds cray I sound stupid, sounds really dumb and crazy and unhinged. But I really want a game that can really punch me in the gut. <laughs> so hard. Like even harder than all the other ones. Yes. Oh no 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 no! It was right there! <laughs> it was right there! Why? I, I was safe! I was safe! Why did I have to go left? I was safe! No! I have it! Okay. Uh, all I will say is just wait. Final Fantasy XIV will. You will cry. I better. If not Heaven's Word, then at the very least Shadowbringers. I haven't heard much about Stormblood to make that would make me cry. I have heard Heaven's Word. But Shadowbringers and Endwalker seem to be the, the prime candidates. But I'm looking forward to what Heaven's Word has to give me. No! I'm in tears right now. You want to... Okay, never mind. This is a game that will make me cry. No. Oh, that was... No. Why? And I have no one to blame except myself.
<gasps> yes! Oh my god! <sighs> yes! Seaside complete! Oh my god! Nearly 900 deaths! <laughs> oh man! <sighs> what other... Okay, I got the golden strawberries in here. I got the golden strawberries here. I didn't get the golden strawberries here, though, only on the seaside, not in either of these. I don't have the seasides here. Uh, the seaside is usually really hard, but it's shorter. So technically, the the golden strawberries are easier to get on the seasides because they're only they only have three rooms each. But still, I only got seventy six times on this one. Wow, that's surprising. Oh yeah, and the. The seaside in the summit, that's just... This one is just beyond brutal. Wow, the B-side here killed me. The seaside... I remember... Yeah, okay. And this one doesn't have a seaside. The whole level is considered the seaside. In farewell. It's the very last level. Eh, it's so... Unimaginably hard. It's... I, I'm not ever even going to attempt getting a golden strawberry here. It's so beyond sadistic. I'm not a masochist. So I'm never gonna try to get a golden strawberry in farewell. Ever. Not even in my wildest dreams. Okay, so uh, let's go to chapter 4. Uh, golden Rich Seaside. Let's try that. Get this. In theory. Huh? Wait, wh what do you mean? What What are you in theory? Oh, wait, it is in theory a bin. Wow. This music reminds me so much of, like, I don't know, it, it makes me feel like a, a sheep level. I'm not a masochist. Oh, you're a masochist. Skill issue. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> okay, you would you would love Celeste then. You would love playing through farewell. In fury, <laughs> in fury. Huh. Ba -da -da. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, the first room is pretty easy. Thankfully, let's consider that a blessing. Yeah. OMG. What? Okay, so that platform will go up. And then I'm gonna have to... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Whoa, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna die quite a bit in this one. I can already tell. Yes! Okay, uh, let's see the fourth. Oh, there's going to be wind blowing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's gonna be some wind. I... Yeah, I think I remember. There's gonna be a lot of wind here. Okay, so jump on that cloud. I think I just heard Madeline sneezing. Hold on. Yeah, she sneezes every so often. I forgot about that. Okay, so, um, Cloud? Oh, I got it! With a normal one, nice. Then, grab on there, and the wind will blow just enough for me to get on that cloud. No, don't jump on that cloud! Dash onto that one. Jump. 
and then squeeze through there. And then the wind will blow... F yeah, the wind is gonna blow forward the entire way through. I have to... To jump and then dash to get there. Ooh, okay. Don't jump on, on that cloud. Wait until wall market. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Uh, hold on, wait. Let me catch my, get my train of thought back. So jump there, go there, yeah. And then go forward on that one, fall down. And then when you get to this one with the blue flag, dash uh, diagonally up. Then when there on that, on that platform, that's gonna go up. And then as soon as it goes up and uh, it disappears, just continue holding right to land on that bubble. Oh wow, that's a big distance. The wind will probably be very strong, yeah. Assuming that the wind will be strong, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go diagonally up, then dash to be able to get here, and then... I'm gonna have to jump, then jump, no dash, no dashing. Yeah, I'm not gonna have to jump. Uh, I, no dashes here. So, just jump, 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 jump. Oh, trust me, she will. Uh, I'm not try not gonna try to decipher what you what you mean. Um, and then get there with a dash. Ooh, hint. Oh, right, right. Okay, I got it. I got the pun. I got the pun. That's that was a great pun. Yep, it's the the wind. Okay, th there's gonna be a strong wind forward. Okay, I was right. Oh, by the way, Kit, if you ever want to make puns or dad jokes, just remember, I have a dad joke command. Observe. I knew I shouldn't have eight. I shouldn't have eaten that seafood, seafood because now I'm feeling a little ill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, Also, I have a few. No, oh, what? I, I don't know why. Sometimes I assume that I won't make it, so I just give up. I don't know why I do that. I, I had it, but sometimes, for some reason, I just. I, I feel like I'm not gonna make it, and so I just give up, and then when I realize I'm, I am actually gonna make it, it's, it's too late. I don't know why that happens to me so much. Ah, your buff shall kill. New player didn't know the stack up marker. No surprise. I was chasing them all. <laughs> oh, you're playing Final Fantasy XIV right now? They never figured it out. Uh, did no one tell them in the chat, by any chance? Or did they just not accept the help? I should use rescue on them to pull them onto the group. Yeah, probably. Honestly, the first time that I got stuck because of the star stack markers was in the Ultima weapon. I was playing with NPCs, so the only reason why I was able to figure out what the stack marker actually did was because Whenever one of the other NPCs had it, they would all come together in a group. So that's how I realized. But only after dying like, what, three or four times? Because the Sark Marker would always go to me. It was just that, that one time when I when I noticed. Oh, wait a second. Is the Sark Marker 
for everyone. Wow, bad luck. <laughs> yeah. How does the stack marker even work exactly? Is it... Does it go at random? Or... Is it because of the damage that someone is doing or, or whatever? How they're doing in the fights? I don't really know how that works. I know that there's a marker. Uh, a red one that usually goes to the tank. Uh, and then if the tank dies, it goes to one of the DPS. I think it's based on enmity. But that one, as far as I can tell, it is random. Okay, so it's random. Wow, so I was really unlucky. How is that... How is that... How am I not catching that cloud? How am I... Hmm. How am I supposed to catch that cloud? Uh. Doggy in chat? Hot Dikrida! What? What dog? Hondor? Is Hondor... Does Hondor Pokemon look like a dog? Is Hondor the goodest of boys? Alongside Torgo? Yes. Ah. <laughs> No, why? I was supposed to go diagonally up, I forgot. It has been so long that I forgot I had to go diagonally up. <laughs> okay. Uh, why? Uh, this is painful. Why? No. No. Okay, fine. Let's try again. Why am I making my voice sound like this? What's going? I don't know why. Uh, I I have no idea why. Why am I making? Why am I making my voice sound like this? But I can, with no issues. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know why. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, Wind will be my first sage, but she has a lot of work to do first. You do have to get to level 70 first. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Lucky. I'm going to Final Fantasy IV roleplay it. So she has to get her conjurer up to 70? You, you mean white mage, right? You, you mean white mage. You're, you're not gonna get to level 70 with, without a job stone, right? <laughs> At least when you, whenever you queue up for a dungeon. But she doesn't have white mage yet. That's fine. <sighs> so I was using terminology that matches the current reality. Oh, okay, but you're planning on getting white mage, right? So I just... I really thought for a second that you were just going to to get Conjurer to level 70 before putting on the job stone. And I was really scared. Yes! Like when you kill something as a dragoon, you don't get dragoon XP, you get lancer XP. That's true. Yeah, I'm, I've noticed that. That's true. Anyway, another golden strawberry. 
Yes! I'm gonna make that golden strawberry pie in no time. Uh, although actually, golden strawberry pie doesn't exist in this thing. It's just a normal one. Oh, I actually didn't die that many times. Okay, uh, now let's do the seaside of reflection. Only 76. Only 76 steps on this one, how? I want golden strawberry cheesecake. Well, you know what? Golden strawberries have this crown on them, so they might be really good. Oh, I love the music here. The music in this level is so good, I love it so much. Dun, dun, dun. I already messed up. <laughs> What? Why are you not jumping? Wow, I have to be... have to react quickly. What? Why are you not jumping? What's going on? Oh, no, I had it. Okay, that, that was horrible. <laughs> oh no, he was almost there. Uh, uh, can you drink coffee I made nine hours ago? What? Why? <laughs> Why? What? You scared me. You scared me sometimes. Isn't it super cold now? Do you put it in the microwave? My internet died. Caused me not to drink it. Oh, it is super cold. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, your internet died. So, of course, that means you, you're not gonna drink your coffee. Sh yes. End of it gross. Well, I mean, that's coffee in general. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of coffee, to be honest. Although, kind of a funny thing. Like, usually whenever I say, Oh, I'm not a fan of coffee. And then, then someone just comes along and, Oh, does that mean that you like... Um, you like tea instead? No, actually. I don't like either coffee or tea. I mean, I can drink tea, it's fine. But, and I do prefer tea over coffee. But... I'd rather just not drink any, either of them. Whenever I do to drink tea, it's more for health reasons. Like, drink is good for you. Uh, tea is, is good for your health, so... I drink it from time to time. But not because I want to. <laughs> wow, this one is... Hmm. How did I only have 76 deaths here? This is... Wait, how am I supposed to go... Get all the way there? Oh... Oh, I have to get this block? Hold on a second. Oh, wow, okay, this one's... This, this is complicated. Okay, so... I have to get this block all the way over there. Then down. Then right. Then fall down there. Take the bumper. And while the the block is going back, uh, back to the right, I have to dash upward to make the the block go down all the way there. And then I'm gonna have to to end on top of the block. And wow, okay, 
uh, and then I'm not even overcomplicating this. This is exactly how the game wants me to do it. And then dash to the walk on this side here to make it go, to make it go all the way here. And then I, I'm gonna have to be on top of the. I'm gonna have to get on top of the block in time. As soon as it stops here, I'm gonna have to jump and use the momentum to carry me over here and then land here. And then I'm gonna have to. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take this bumper to get this bumper. Go above these spikes, get this bumper. Uh, dash upwards and get that bumper and then land here in the middle Ga catch that bumper wait why is that why is there a crystal there oh wow okay I think I get it and I'm, I'm saying I'm talking about using the bumpers but the thing with the bumpers is that you have to be at a very specific angle too it's not easy to get the the correct angle more often more often than not. It's very difficult. To get the just use the bumper to get there. Then jump down here, get the bumper, the last crystal, and then the heart. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. This 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 one's gonna be very difficult. And I already failed. Uh. Hello there. Hi Dandy! You're definitely the first. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, the dancing crew, I love it. Beep boop pop pep. Tactical attack, Salmon Squad deployed to your location. Straw baby. Straw baby. Straw baby. He's a straw baby. This was my first golden, don't ask. I don't... I don't judge you, to be honest. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -da -ba. The music here is so good though, I, I really can't blame you. Da -da -da. No one caught it. Oh. Ba -da -da. But what emote is that? Pineapple tongue? What? Bleh. This model is adorable. Oh. Um, Dandy. This is the free run model. Made by Kiyoki Studio. It's a live 2D model. I need to watch this show. You should. Free run is so good. Alright. It jumped to my second favorite anime of all time. Before the before the season was over. <laughs> um, in first place is, is Steinsgate. There is no context for Steinsgate, I'm sorry. I I love Steinsgate, it's amazing. And also I kinda like sci-fi more than fantasy, more often than not. Your hair grows so fast and changes colors. Well, yeah, that's how Celeste works. <laughs> Alright, when you dash, your hair turns blue. And uh, the end of your hair tracks where you where you were. So let's see. Woo! Woo! If it's blue, that means you don't have any more dashes. If it's I was making a joke about your model changing. I'm not the brightest. <laughs> I'm not the brightest. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you're right. You're right. And I have a flower on my head now. That's cool. Oh, okay. I'm past the halfway point. Okay, let's see. Let me remind myself of how of what I'm working with here. I have this music on my phone. Actually, I have most of the soundtrack of this game on my phone. It's so good. When the rain did an amazing job. Hey, well, actually, I don't think it was when the rain that uh, composed this one. Yeah, the B and C sides have different music. That's remixed from the the main music composed by other people. Okay, let's try. Back to the beginning. Oh, Jigglypuff! There's a name I finally recognize. Do I have it? I don't even know. No, I don't. There's a name that I finally recognize. Uh, the little gummy ball. Wait, no. Uh, wait, how do you say... Wait, how do you say Pastilla Elastica in, in, in English? Hold on. Give... Wait, how do you how do you say that? Gumball? Oh yeah, probably. Um, wait, hold on. Let me see in the Google Translate. Chewing gum. Yeah, chewing gum. That's what I wanted to say. Chewing gum. <laughs> like a round gum. Yeah, I, I don't know, just the oh the jigglypuff. I don't know why. Just I think of it as a as a chewing gum. <laughs> I'm also kind of surprised that Badline doesn't appear here in the seaside. Badline was a very big part of the main story and in the B side, but she doesn't appear here in the seaside. <laughs> I'll check out your commission prices, by the way. Oh, um, but uh, Cub, I, I just have to—I just have to tell you, if your commission prices are above one cent, then it's already too expensive. Uh, you, I'm not—I'm not gonna pay. <laughs> I'm not gonna commission. <laughs> uh, jokes, of course. I, I'm only joking, obviously. But but still, <laughs> yeah, I'm only joking, obviously. But still, yeah. Oh, that was pathetic. Oh, that was pathetic. That was my punishment for... Uh, you know, yeah, I gotta add it in the exposure. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, of course. I will pay you in exposure. Now, as you can see, my Twitter, tw Twitter? <laughs> Twitter account has over 100 uh, followers. Exactly zero of them care, care about me at all. This means that I can give you a lot of exposure, obviously. <laughs> Wait, you're going to expose and you consider this payment? Of course not. <laughs> of course it's not payment. I'm only joking. Although, of course, you're probably also joking. Yeah, you're probably also joking. You're probably also adding to the joke. My deepest, darkest secrets. Oh, exposed like cub exposed. Oh, Riot knows. Uh, cub, I will expose that you're very clean. Yes, cub queen. You you haven't even done the, the level one conjure quest. What? One thing that I really that I, that I like about the conjure quest is that afterwards you can get a unicorn. You can get a unicorn mount. It's pretty cool. 
I kind of wish, wish that all the other ones, you could also get um, a mount out of them. But it seems that's, that only the Conjurer one gives you a mount. It's a unicorn. It really tells you how ancient of a character she is. Richest man in the stream. Wait, how much does Wright have? 24,000. Oh, wow. I had... I, I was... I almost had 30,000 before I spent a bunch of money on more Pokeballs. I think. I didn't used to do those quests at all until people threatened to disown me. Wait, kid. You didn't? You didn't do the class quests at, at first? Really? I'll be completely honest. The first time I was playing this, the Final Fantasy XIV, I thought that the class quest, the Pugilist, was the main story. <laughs> I I didn't get any expert. I didn't know about the whole blue quest, main story quest, and, and normal side quest. I thought that the Pugilist was the main story because the game pushed me to go to the Pugilist uh, guild, and I really thought that that was the was the main story quest. So I barely did anything in the main story until I was like, what, level 15 uh, in the, po the Pugilist quest? Yeah, while in the main story I was still only like at level 3 main story quest or something. And by level 17 in Pugilist? Um, and I still remember when I was level 17 in the Pugilist quest, I think I was at around uh, level 5 main story quest, or maybe level 8. It was somewhere before level 10 main story. However, I walked from Tanalan to Mordona. I got every etherite from Ulda and all the ones in Tanalan to the Black Shroud, to Curthus, and then finally Mordona in Revenant Stall. I walked all the way there before the level 15 main story quest that gives you the airship to go there. Is that because you have the vouchers to exchange exchanging Mordona? I have lots of characters who will never turn them in. Uh, what vouchers? No, I just walked there because I wanted to explore. I, I walked there because I wanted to. <laughs> Literally nothing else. Oh no. Oh, okay, I s Oh no. Oh no, oh no, the, the angle. Jordi and I just be walking in FF. Pretty much. Oh man, the angle there. I almost... If I hadn't gotten the wrong angle, I could have still saved it. I was so close to the finish too. I would be so bad at this. It's practice. You need practice. I need to play this. I have it on Game Pass on Xbox. Ooh, do it. This game is so good. And there's also an assist mode as well. So, uh, if you're not able to play the game normally, then you can just activate assist mode and get a lot of help. You can even make Madeline invincible. Yeah, you can make yourself invincible or get infinite dashes. So, so you can use assist mode if you want to. And technically you can also use assist mode for the for the golden strawberries as well to cheat your way through to get every strawberry or golden strawberry, but I'm not gonna do that. Come on. I'll try it out and see how bad I, I am at it. <laughs> you told me it's a difficult day game, I'm a little nervous. It it is a difficult day. It is a very difficult platformer. That's why I, I'm telling you that there is an assist mode to help you. If you're not too sure, you can try the game, try the game normally at first. Oh, thank you, Yukin, for the hydrate. Okay. Try the game. Okay. And then, um, if, if you see, if you're seeing that you're not being, like, that you're really getting frustrated from dying a lot, then activate assist mode to help you a little bit. 
Just because you died a few times doesn't mean you're bad, immediately. This game even tells you, straight up, that your death count is, is basically, it's pretty much a badge of honor. The game tells you to be proud of your death count. Um, your death count, the higher it is, the more you're learning, basically. I'll be RB soon, need to get myself awake and ready for the day, but working. I will try out Celeste, I am excited too. Nice. I really urge anyone to play this game, it's so good. Even if you're not into platformers, it's just, just so good, <laughs> man. This is my favorite 2D platformer for a reason. Get your bucket, chalky milk. Oh. Having a cat pouring as a soundbite for that redeem was a great choice. <laughs> it was a good choice. Uh. Okay. My new pot of gross coffee is warm. Shall this one become cold as well? Drink it right now! Before it becomes cold. Or else I will approach your location rapidly. But I might be going to sleep if 14 is under attack and unplayable. Wait, uh, going to sleep already? Isn't it morning for you or something? Yeah, it's probably like, what, 11 p.m.? Uh, uh, a.m., I mean. 11.47 a.m.? To pass the time. Sleep to pass the time? Wow, I never thought about that. Until the game is recovered. Okay, fair enough. I never... I never thought about sleeping to pass the time. I've always I always looked at sleeping as a big waste of time. I a massive one. So if I can do something, I'm j I'll just do something else. But you have to sleep anyway. Yeah, of course. The only question is when? Well, yeah, at night. I sleep at night. Always will. Unless I have a night shift. Which I've never had up to this day, but you never know what the future holds. Like a hurricane, come the rainbow, maybe the reason why. <laughs> the open door leads you to the perfect door, like a lightning bolt. Your heart will come. No! Oh, what? That works! That works! No, 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 why? Oh, no, the angle was wrong again! You have to be kidding me! No, why? Why is the angle always so wrong there? Uh, it, it's, it's, it is my fault, by the way. I'm not saying that the game that the game is at fault. It's not. I am. But... Wow. The amount of times that I failed there. Free. Just... Just stupid. It moves a little bit to the left. How fun. <laughs> So it is moody. Tell me which direction you hold as you hit the bumper. Wait, that matters? I, I actually didn't know. I, I thought it was all about the angle of the uh, at which I hit the bumper. I actually... If you're holding away as you hit it, you get big boy launch. I I did not know that. Oh my god, it is. I, ju I, just, I just checked. It is. I did not know that. I actually didn't know that. Thank you. How many of the golems do you have? Oh, 
Uh, okay. I have all the ones in chapter 1, free. All the ones in chapter 2, so 6. Then chapter... Then all the other chapter, C, chapter Cs up until this point. So... Uh, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10? I think 10? Might be wrong. Was it stone ball or rock ball? I don't remember. Stone ball. Ah. Oh. Alright, that's the third golden strawberry this stream and probably the last. Oh. How many deaths? I had 76 before. 346, wow. Yeah, so. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. 7. 8. 9. Okay, now I have 10, my bad. 10. Okay, now I have 10. Before I had 9, my bad. 